Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, after this one, guys, I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to make like a cool concept foot champs team because we have Goldson, Diane da Costa. Maybe I fit in like Holland in there with like Foden, maybe do like a Man City thing or something. I don't know. We'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, but guys, we have the new Goldson card to review today. It gives me that link to Ramsey. I'm probably the only person that has the Ramsey card. Uh, guys, if you want to link Goldson to an easy link, the most obvious choice is going to be the Tavernier card because in the future, right, uh, with James Tavernier, you know he's going to get a Team of the Season card and he's going to be cracked, okay? He's going to be good at pretty much doing everything uh, in regards to just how he'll perform in game. Maybe they even give him like a weak foot upgrade, skill move upgrade. We'll see. But with this Goldson, for now, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot three, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, this card is already formatted really nicely, to be fair. In-game player traits, he has power header traits, leadership traits, in-game attributes. He's going to have 99 acceleration with 97 for sprint speed, which is fantastic for the meta of FIFA because with this card potentially getting the upgrade, right? Potentially, we could potentially give him the anchor in the future, right? If they give him a plus three, plus four, whatever it is, while you can improve the physical of the card, right? So it just depends on how they go about doing all of that but even right now on a shadow chemistry style definitely formatted very nicely he has really good dribbling stats uh considering the fact that he is six foot three at a high and average body type so some really good stuff there with a medium high work rate physical stuff on the card you know if we give him an anchor for future intensive purposes i think they're going to improve it even more right if he gets the upgrade because if i give him a shadow uh, as of right now, his defense is essentially perfect with really good pace and a really good physical. And then in the future, I could probably give him an anchor. So this is one of those types of SBCs where I feel like EA is starting to release these cards that no matter whether or not they get the upgrade, they're going to be beast cards. They did the same thing to Danny Costa, right? The card's already really nice for what it is right now at the price range, right? And I really feel like Goldson is, a, is in a very similar situation because... The card is not hard to link, right? The Tavernier card is going to be very nice in the future. So with Goldson, guys, in game, we're going to be trying him out in the defensive positions, obviously. Um, I'm really curious to see, because this is a road to the final card. I want to I want to see if he actually um, ends up going the entire way, because he's medium, medium, work rated, three star, three star. So pretty generic stuff, but I'd still use him in a team if he was uh, upgraded enough. But uh yeah, I guess we can use like a 4 one 2 and 2 play him at center back. We can also use the constant pressure 3-5-2, play him at center back. And then we'll use like the 3 4 one 2 play him at center back as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's decent. So I'm doing like really stupid challenges right there, but I want to tell you guys this right now that his transition speed, considering how tall he is, is really nice. Nice. Sees that himself right away with the AI. Look, we're on switch. I want to do manual running here. So I want to explain something to you guys, okay? When you manually run with the player, you're actually slower than when he does it with his AI. I'm telling you guys, it's just a thing. But we test it out anyways. You know, he's really out of position. Uh, so I want to kind of see how he runs in that situation. So don't blame him if he doesn't catch up there, you know? Yep, just L trigger defending, good AI block. See, I switch off of him there for him to get back into position quickly enough. I'll trigger again. That's me tackling this time. Unlucky. A lot of deflections. A lot of FIFA deflections. Again, you can see defensive AI-wise gets back into position quickly enough. Wow. AI, he actually uh, puts him off right there. That's good. First time pass again. Nice. I was going to get that anyways. Just got to hold the uh, passing angle there. <laughs> Went through both of my defenders there. Even Blanc came out of nowhere to try to block that. Yep, just all trigger defending there. 
That's the one I wanted there. There you go. Good. That was really nice. So his AI there initially was great, but then the block afterwards was fantastic too. Oh, nice try, nice try. Enough to stop him a little bit. Trackback was pretty quick there too. Oh, cutting it down though, but I was positioned away from the guy there. Nice, I'll trigger defending. I really like the feel of this card, guys. I think he feels super nice. Oh, almost got to that too, eh? <laughs> really, uh, really low there, but still almost got it. Yeah, the moment I switch off, off to him, or off of him, he gets back pretty quickly. I'll trigger, good. Nice. Yeah, good job again. That was just all trigger defending again. See what I mean about the AI? You see how fast he came back? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, bro. Yeah. It's, you gotta like, try to like control the run a certain way, right? Like you you use him and then you let go of him. You let the AI handle it, right? It's just kind of how this game works. And then we score, nice. Yeah, I, you know what? I like this Goldson card. He's cool, man. Ooh, that one we missed. Yeah, it's really hard for me to blame people for those, by the way, is because in this game it's a little bit strange. Manual goalkeeping. Yeah, see, that was just to see if he can actually control his uh, transition well enough, and he can. I'll trigger. Nice. You know what was good about that highlight? Uh, <laughs> Goldson's the one that scored against me. <laughs> we'll take that. The reason why I don't comment on the goals that I concede is because uh, it's easier for the editing when it doesn't have anything to do with him, you know? Oh, wow. I was like possession based. Like he pushed it in position to uh, get it into an easier area. And into position. Let's go. His Goldson actually intercepted that opportunity there too. Nice. Challenge there by Goldson. See, a little bit of movement from the goalkeeper. GG's. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Goldson card. So in my opinion, another WSBC for sure. Uh, the biggest reason why this is a W as an SBC is because as of right now for 57K, he performs really well. But, you know, most of the times it would have been a very difficult situation to give him the proper links and whatnot, right? But because this link exists between him and, oh my goodness, if you have the Kent card, you can actually link him too. If you still use it, of course, right? It's really up to the person. But yeah, that's a really big link right there, actually. I think Kent will probably get a team of the season too, right, guys? So if, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if they're doing like the Scottish stuff, but I'm pretty sure they will. We'll see, I guess. But yeah, the main one is this one right here. It's the Tavernier link, right? So for right now, for the future, when it comes to, you know, the team of the season version, this card on an anchor chemistry style with base card stats being improved for dribbling, shooting, and passing, 
boom, easy triple link setup, right? Especially if you have like a lot of English players in your team. Like if you did the uh, team of the season Foden card, you just need that one soft link and then boom, you could use them as a triple link setup, no problem uh, with the other players, depending on the formation that you're using, right? So uh, in my opinion, WSBC, because as of right now, he performs perfectly fine, really nice card. And uh, with an upgrade, he could be even better. So yeah, definitely like him a lot. The links that you can work with is fantastic for the future. And the, the price is really good. These are both really good SBCs today. Yeah, today it was both uh, Danny Costa and uh, the Golden card. Really good SBCs for what they offer in game for sure. And uh, obviously with an improvement, they could be good too. It's good because I like that they made these cards because they don't need the improvement right now to be like amazing, but they're still very good. So when they do get the improvement, whoever it ends up being, definitely going to be very nice. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.